Good, beautiful evening, everyone. We are coming to you tonight. Kind of a late check-in for us, but I'm going to get the room footage first, and then I will do more over the next five days that we're here. So we are here at the Drury Inn and Suites in North Stone Oak. And if I think I'm right in my... No, I don't face the other Drury. Anyway, we have stayed here in San Antonio, actually next door at the Drury Plaza here in North Stone Oak before. So you can look back in our lodging playlist if you would like to find that video. It was like around Teddy's birthday, and maybe even our birthday we did it. I can't remember now. We did a couple of stays next door at the plaza. So this really is on the same property, just a completely different hotel. You would book it completely differently. We went rather affordable this day because we are here for five nights. So we are just doing what's called the two queen deluxe. So a very basic room, not a suite, nothing with the jetted tub or any of that. But I got this this week for only like $90 a night. So we are going to take advantage for five nights, go enjoy, you know, Six Flags Fiesta, SeaWorld San Antonio. We now have a family membership to the Duceum and all of that. So the guys have taken the luggage rack back downstairs. We just came in. We live in Big Bend National Park. We, Mark had, um, could take a half a day today to go with his other days off. So we just came all the six hours from Big Ben. So we are checking in rather late at 9.30, but they were really good. I called ahead and I explained we were gonna be a late check-in. She was really great about it. So in the two queen, there is still a nice little sitting chair. So that's good. So like sometimes Mark's not comfortable watching TV from the bed, especially the way his leg is. Mark has a lot of mobility issues with his leg and it doesn't always bend quite right. So sometimes to watch TV from a bed is uncomfortable for him. So that's really good that there's still this nice comfy chair. The lamp next to the chair has two outlets. No USB, but there are two outlets. And then for other charging in between the two queen beds, we do have outlet and USB on the clock as well as outlets on the lamp as well as three additional outlets here on this little extender. Really nice little nightstand that sits in between a drawer with the Bible and then like down there that's probably you know Mark usually shoves his slippers there or whatever. There's also a nice little workspace here with this desk. And this lamp, no USBs, but there are two regular outlets there. Trying to look, doesn't really appear that there's a lot of additional outlets underneath. This building does seem just upon first glance, this seems a little bit older than the plaza that we stayed in right next door. Uh, the room is still nice looking, but it does look like here and there there's a few like dings where people might have banged luggage or whatever. But overall, I don't really see, there's no like stains on the walls or the ceilings. But even in the lobby, it does feel like it's potentially older. Here come the guys back. So we do have the TV center. I was going to see what this little cabinet was. Oh, the microwave. So there is at these breweries, they do have breakfast, a really good hot breakfast, as well as an evening kickback that has a lot of good snacks. And I will try to make sure I show you a little bit of the kickbacks as well as a little bit. The breakfast is usually the same every morning. The kickbacks do alter. And Mark, can you find that on the app or the website or both? Is it the website where you find usually what website, the re websites? Because I haven't found it on the app. So I was thinking you must website. have found it on the website. Okay. But if you needed 
the microwaves. And then down here is the mini fridge. So that's always good. And then your ice bucket. Uh, I'm gonna go get ice in a little while. It's up on a different floor. Ice is not always on every floor at Drury's. So that will, you know, Mark's hurting pretty bad. So I'll run up in a bit and get ice. Teddy, would you like to open the drawers for me and check them? That would be helpful. Oh yes, yes, Teddy always has to check the mini fridge. He's so cute, he's wearing Mark's hat, his dad's hat, that he kinda, I take stole from you in the car while I was checking in. All right, now he's checking the drawers. So we're not typically a family that takes our stuff out. So Teddy's putting the plastic cups in there, I'm not quite sure why, just to demonstrate that things fit in the drawer. We're not usually a family, as I was saying, that unloads our suitcases. You, we usually just pull from our suitcases each day. Drewries are known for their artwork to match the area they're in. So if you're familiar with San Antonio, one of the famous things besides the Alamo here in San Antonio is this restaurant. I forgot the restaurant's name. Do you remember, Mark? No. But there's a restaurant down there on the Riverwalk that has those umbrellas. And Teddy and I walked past it when we... We're staying down near the, at one of the Drury's on the river walk before, and it is a beautiful area. All right, Teddy, would you like to do bed science? Lucy's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, ready? Bed science. Woo! So the bathroom is pretty basic. We have... He's, Teddy's going to show you the toilet flushes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> He's going to show you. I haven't unwrapped the soap yet, but yes, that is where you would wash your hands. Teddy's going to display that we have your typical tub-shower combo, which is pretty nice. And you have your hygiene products all in dispensers here. Nice rain shower head. And yes, a bar if you need help holding on. There's also a couple little soap dishes if you want to put your own product. Plenty of towels. Extra TP. Then out here you have other like hand and face towels. Another little trash can. Your soap you can use for your hand soap. There's a hair dryer under there. Teddy, could you help assist gently opening the closet doors? He's probably gonna admire himself first. Yes, he typically does. Oh, hi, travel me. Okay, don't close it yet, honey. I wanna show everybody. Oh, okay, this is his thing too. He usually likes to hide in the closet and then Lucy stares at it like, where did he go? Where did he go? So they are mirrored if you wanna be able to get that head to toe look. Or the fact too, if you're one that checks the back of your hair, it works out well with the bathroom mirror. So in here, we do have iron, ironing board. Uh, clothes hangers, I was looking, there's no extra bedding. That's gonna make Teddy sad. Usually he wants the extra blanket and pillow. There is a luggage rack. I've already placed my suitcase on it, but we kind of just unloaded everything and then Mark took the cart back. And like I mentioned, we're getting in late for us. So, and Lucy was already telling us for the last half hour, is it bedtime yet? Oh, I did want to mention, there is in-room coffee. Um, I mean, I'm not the world's biggest coffee snob, but I still would not recommend it. They have it going pretty much 24 hours down in the lobby. And like when I usually take Lucy out for her 4 a.m. first outing, there's usually nice hot coffee that I grab and bring up. I don't usually recommend touching the in-room coffee. All right, so I am gonna do more of the grounds and all of that, but as you can see, we gotta get this one and fur baby to bed, so we will catch you tomorrow and maybe the, over the next few days finish this door. Sometimes on Saturdays and Sundays it's crowded, so it's a little after six o'clock. Teddy's hitting breakfast with me. His dad is still sleeping, huh? Daddy's, we'll let daddy sleep. We'll go have breakfast. So also what we were gonna say is on Saturdays and Sundays, they don't start until seven. I may show you here, but during the week it starts at six. First things first, Teddy wants a waffle to start with. So I'm making him a waffle. 
Then I know he'll probably want fruit with it. It's kind of, it's smaller than some of the other plazas I've been to, but certainly still has everything you would want. How are your hotel waffle making skills? Sometimes I get it and sometimes I get it with some crooked edges, but somebody will be happy with it. He has found a table, doesn't surprise me, near the TV. What else do you think you want this morning? Do you want some juice, some fruit, eggies, sausage? Fruit. Okay, we have biscuits and gravy, tortillas, and you have sausage and breakfast potatoes. Then you have a bacon, cheddar scramble, and regular scrambled eggs. Oatmeal. On the other side, you have your oatmeal toppings, other condiments, all of that. There is some yogurt, too. Here's like your cream cheese, your butter, and then you have your bread station. It offers little mini muffins, some other breads, bagels. Then you have two waffle makers, your syrup, a little assortment of fruit, coffee station. This one's easy to do. A plaza, it's humongous usually compared to this. Then you have a milk station, juice, dry cereal, if you want dry cereal. And yes, the soda machine is usually turned on at breakfast as well. We are back in the Drury from our adventures that we did today. Uh, Teddy and I went to the Duceum. Mark went to In-N-Out Burger and Dunkin' Donuts and all that fun stuff. So it's now after four o'clock, so it's popcorn time. They have popcorn and they do turn on the soda machine and stuff before kickback starts at 5.30. So I always get frustrated trying to do the little tiny popcorn bags for all three of us because I'm usually the runner that goes down and gets them. And I also hate wasting the paper. So I decided this week I was bringing one of our refillable buckets from home. So uh, this day's flair is Dollywood. But no, it really, uh, to fill this bucket, I'm, you know, I'm not overindulging because for three of us, this is about what three of the bags would come up to anyway. But A, I'm not putting those little bags into a landfill when I'm done. And it was a lot easier to carry up. But I also do that with us for the soda. We're, you know, in town and going to Six Flags anyway. So we just use our Six Flags mugs and then Mark and I share it. So it's, you know, it comes out the same as trying to carry up a whole bunch of cups of that soda anyway. So just a little tip, you know, if you have a larger family and you don't want to carry up four or five bags of popcorn, then yeah, bring every hell of a Boys munch on some popcorn. There's like nobody in the lobby right now. Not a lot of check-ins right now. Nobody really hanging out for kickback yet. So it's a good time to take you down and show you lobby, some of the outside seating area. But when you get to the end of our hallway here in the little opening before you get on the elevator, oh, it's not quite picking up with the lighting. There's this beautiful like chandelier thing that I thought just makes the entryway look nice. And let me turn it around and show you if the lighting was better being able. So there's like two different hallways here. So it splits down that main section, which is probably rooms like ours that are more the, the basic. And then I take it the suites on this floor sit on the outside here. Yeah, yeah, there's not only a few of them. So these are probably that go around on this front here. But then it's cool, you could walk. Oh, we can, why don't we? Walk right over there and look out. Of course the sun is right bright but really nice you can just kind of just give some nice appeal and where I want to take you is right down there to that outside seating area so let's grab an elevator and I shall show you but let's look down to into the lobby I love the D for the Drury the Drury logo there down by the popcorn machine Oh good, I got the glass elevator. So there's two elevators. One is the glass, fancy, and one is not. All of our family, even Lucy, prefers this elevator. Whee!
I will try to get some of the kick back too. I think tonight Mark said is chicken tenders and I think like a pasta choice. They've brought out, he said now baked potato is an every night offering. I was happy to see that. Um, and it does rotate. Like there's offerings they have every night, like the chips, the salsa, the queso cheese there, and the steamed hot dogs, and now baked potatoes. And then they usually have a soup of the day. And then a, some kind of salad too in greens. And then there's other, your main items that rotate. And you can always check their website to see what the rotation is. But since there's nobody here, it's a good opportunity for me to show you some of the seating area you can have. This is where you saw us eat breakfast, was right over in that corner. So there is, if you're looking for doors to either go out to your parking lot, there's our car, Sebastian, right there. There's usually a door by entry, by front desk where you check in. And then there is usually another door off the dining area. And then there's another door that will go down by the pool. So if I'm ever taking Lucy out, there's lots of opportunities. Let me go out here. Nice high top table there. And that looks like there might be a charging port. Let me see. Oh, there is. So if you needed a good space to do some work while you were having your snacks. Also, sometimes I forget to mention this because I don't drink alcohol. I've been sober now seven years. But they do, when you check in, you get like three alcoholic beverages per night. So whatever nights you're staying, you get three alcoholic beverages per night. And I don't know how fancy they are. I think they're pre-mixed. I don't know a lot about that because I don't drink and actually Mark doesn't drink either. So we never, we always just throw the coupons away. So there is also area here in the lobby. If you needed some quiet space to just hang out or be away from your family and work. I always like to try to look around to see where you might have charging opportunity because if you're like us you always have multiple devices you need to charge. Oh, nice comfy seats and I'm going to take you outside in a minute. Uh, a lot of times in these dreweries though I'll be honest with you I don't find a lot of places to charge devices. A lot of nice comfy seating, not a lot of places to charge devices. Also, before I forget, I spot the vis a business center, so I'll show you that. Here's the popcorn. And they do have a little nook over here that would be your business center if you did need to do something or get a printout or whatever. Also, all the Drury's have the little market if there is something you want to purchase perhaps to take upstairs and snack on or if you have hygiene product needs or like minor medications like your Advil or cold medicine or Pepto-Bismol or you know any of that little frozen pizzas even you could cook in the microwave little ice cream treats any of that if that was a need there also is a Walmart just practically next door not far away so there's that option as well but if you don't want to leave or you have little ones and you can't really go out need something quick and easy this is here for your opportunity crackles I love crackles hi guys so here I had noticed this this morning and I was all excited when I told Mark and he actually sat out here with Lucy for a little bit today while we were gone at the Duceum. But what a lovely outdoor area. As you can see, if you are a smoker, well, have at it. But what a lovely area. And it does have a little bit of covering. Plus you have these nice, beautiful trees that offer some shade. And then, yeah, I mean, there is the traffic and stuff, but it kind of makes a nice white noise, background noise. But you still hear the grackles cackling away, and there's a little bit of a breeze. But what a lovely outdoor seating area. Nice. Oh, and I'm noticing the security camera sign. I wanted to give this note, too, because a lot of people are wondering, especially in cities, is an area safe? According to Mark's research, uh, North Stone Oak is rather safe in the area we're in here in San Antonio, but they always do have security cameras running. Plus, when I've been out various times, day or night, especially night or really early in the morning walking Lucy, um, not only here, but as I mentioned, we've stayed at 
the plaza next door, which I think I will walk you over here so you can see. We stayed at the plaza side over Teddy's birthday in June, and then I think we were here around our birthday too, sometime right after that. Um, when I've been out walking Lucy, either when I did those days or this morning, I see a security guy really, you know, out driving around Roman. So it does seem to me that they really do take security and safety seriously here. I mean, you still have to be mindful yourself and safety aware, but it does feel like a safe place. Okay, so I think the only other thing I wanted to capture before I can actually close this out. All right, I do want to try to throw in a little bit of kickback footage too. I'm not going to try to film every night. I'll just remind you that it does rotate and all of that. Keep checking our videos when we do do stays. But I want to take you down and show you the pool. Ah, oh, I should go grab Teddy. I'd never get an opportunity when there's like nobody in the pool. This is one of the benefits of being a homeschool family is like it's a Thursday so you're not gonna have a high crowd during school season here but also good because I can show you now they do have a little bit of outside seating area too so if you went outside again say you wanted to get more sunshine or does appear that that is another designated smoking area they do have a hot tub And actually, this has been great. Um, this is getting to be a pretty good in-depth review for me because a lot of times we're busy doing other activities away from the hotel or I don't get to break away because if it is just me and Teddy and Lucy. So yeah, it's nice, nice size pool. Now the juries, some of them are different. Some of them are completely indoor pools like this. And then some of them are like what I call half and half, half indoor half outdoor yeah actually I might actually go grab Teddy bring him down for a swim looks really inviting and the pool is first floor kind of off on its wing here there's also some restrooms so if you were enjoying the dining options and needed a restroom or wanted to refill your bottle. There's also a fitness center. I'm not gonna poke my head to the glass because I don't wanna disturb anybody if anybody's working out, but they do have a fitness center. <laughs> Diving into kickback, kinda on the go praying as we sat him down. <laughs> um, so he's going with his typical, a hot dog and chips, although he wanted cheese to dip his chips in today and that's different for a Teddy. But this is the Teddy typical. Now, Mark didn't read the right information because it's actually pulled pork night, so I don't know what I'm gonna eat. No, so with it being pulled pork night, and no, there's no baked potatoes like Mark had read online. So I basically have greens and tomatoes. Uh, the balsamic, I don't think there's any dairy in it or mammal. So, and then Diet Coke. So I will show you what I'll fix for Mark to take upstairs and he'll have a much more interesting plate. Hot dogs, as you saw Teddy have, is something that is a staple every night. And then there's the soda machine. And then you start in on the hot items. So there's slider buns here. And I'm going to go around and show you before I make Mark's plate. Then you have some condiment items, some baked beans. Slide down a little bit more, Teddy, honey. Then there's pulled pork. Then mac and watch out, Teddy. Yeah, mac and cheese. Teddy's trying to help me do the tour here, but he almost ran over poor family. So here are like the greens for the salad. And the other difference between like a inn and a plaza is at a plaza you have real plates, real silverware. At an inn you have styrofoam and plasticware. So then here's your dressings. You also have tomatoes and cheese you can put. I forgot to get still pictures too, so I'm backing up here. Then there's usually a soup that rotates out too. So sometimes it's like chicken noodle, sometimes a, a vegetable, sometimes there's even like chili. And when it's pulled pork night, usually you get coleslaw too. And then another thing that's every night is chips and salsa and nacho cheese. Well, this is what I brought up from Mark. And I kind of had the mac and cheese run into his beans, but he, he doesn't mind that. But here we have it. It's 
some pulled pork, some mac and cheese, some beans, and then I did some chips and queso for him. So we're gonna wrap it up because I think I pretty much showed you everything. And like I mentioned, the kickback will change. So you'll have some other items tomorrow night, other items the night after that. It kind of does go rotate through, but I'm not gonna, I'd like to wrap up this vlog. And with that, uh, we would stay again. And, and how we worked it out in our heads of how we would review it is the plaza next door we did like a little better in some aspects. However, this has been kind of quieter. Of course, it is during the week too. But overall, this is a bit of a better price than the plaza, even for the Queen Deluxe Room. Therefore, if we are staying four or five nights and really want to save money, we would certainly do this location again. But if we're only like two or three nights or we want the jetted tub or something fancy like that, we definitely would stay next door at the plaza. Peace and love, gang. Keep adventuring, and we will see you on that next one.